Good morning. Good morning, Bubba. Hi. God, it's cold out here. Oh, we still got some snow on the ground. It's starting to melt off. The reason I'm out here at 7 a.m. is I'm going to show y'all what has happened. You see that giant tree? It fell the other night. Hopefully y'all can see about right there. It fell at 11 o'clock at night, 11 or 12. So it fell at 11 o'clock. It was like midnight, 11, 12-ish the other night and uh, knocked the power out and shook the whole house. It terrified us. Me and Sean both jumped out of bed and was like, what was that? The neighbor way up on the hill up there, he yelled down. He's like, hey, is everything okay? What happened? This is a doozy. I mean, when I tell y'all, you guys, we have some tall trees around our property. And when I say tall, they're just long. Not all of them are thick like this one was, but I mean, they're just all so tall. So yeah, the it knocked the power out and we were out of power until the next, um, it was like three or four o'clock before they got it on the next day. So luckily homeowners has kicked in. The contractor's already come and looked and done his estimate and, um, our homeowners, the insurance agent, he is, they're going to be working together this week, so we'll get that fixed, but it splattered wood, you guys, all the way over into that yard. Mm. My car was covered with wood spray, wood chips, you can see, <laughs> I mean, we've picked up a lot of it out of the driveway right there, just so we aren't running over it, you know, but luckily no damage to the cars, but Hopefully everything will almost even out and the once the deductible comes out, we won't be hardly anything out of pocket. We might have to a little bit, but that's okay. Luckily the uh, the kids are okay, me and Sean are okay, the house is okay, and the carport's gonna be fixed. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> Whose birthday is it, Chloe? Happy birthday to Mommy. Mommy, it's the cupcake's birthday, I thought you said. She was singing happy birthday to her cupcake. <laughs> happy birthday, Shark. Baby Shark. Happy birthday to you. Would you like some pancakes this morning? Would you like some pancakes? And bacon? You want some pancakes and bacon? And bacon? Bacon? Ba Look, tell them, say banana. Say banana. Y'all, he was sitting on the counter the other day, and we had uh, just got some bananas. He said, Mama, banana. I was like, yes. Trying to teach him, you know, instead of saying nana, banana. Yeah. Banana. Nana. Banana. Banana. Ba. Banana. Banana. Good job. I'm brushing Kitter Catter's hair. Well, we need to brush our own hair this morning, don't we? We need to get up and get ourselves together. We got to do some schoolwork. But first, pancakes and bacon. Can we brush your hair? I guess. You guys, this unbrush, it works. <laughs> it works. She has curly hair, so it's tough getting a brush through hers. Hers. I do use conditioner on her after the after her bath, but the next morning, regardless conditioner or not, you know that curly hair. As you can tell, I know y'all little crooked and overlook me in my robe. It's cold here this morning. The kids won't keep theirs on, but I'm gonna make some of these because bacon, Colton, I don't know, he's going through something. Sausage is always a win with him. So I'm gonna make a couple of these too, just in case he don't wanna eat the bacon. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm telling you the truth. I have never tried this brand. Wow. I've never tried this brand before. I seen somebody using it the other day on a video and I was like, I'm gonna try that brand. Actually, I've seen a couple people using it. So we're gonna try our pancakes with this brand this morning. I've never used it. All right, now let me get the water. Yeah. Good job, thank you. No. Good. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Oh, you know. <laughs> Put them in there. In the pancake, please. Thank you. Don't put it in the cake. I don't. Wait, Cece has a turn too. Good job, thank you. Come back. Want one? All right.
you guys we are getting ready to totally make over this room for school and play and arts and crafts and fun things and I am so excited and I'm gonna try to thrift most of it I might have to go to Hobby Lobby to get the chalkboard but I'm gonna try to thrift everything else I'm gonna look for a chalkboard first at other places is ready and of course they'll probably have seconds but that's okay because I got plenty I had to put my hair up y'all it is hot in here but yeah I've been noticing my cast iron you guys that was all on medium heat and maybe a little above medium but they are like really burning things up here lately so I'm gonna have to start putting them on like three and let, I mean I let them preheat but I don't know they've just been really cooking hot this ain't no pay for motion I bought this with my own money and um will continue to do so you guys if you are looking for a good vitamin now i've always taken multivitamins especially since i got pregnant okay but i'm telling you right now these liquid vitamins are a game changer i struggle with vitamins because they constipate me right these do not cereal not only you want cereal not only that, like I can feel my body absorbing all the stuff, but like I feel so much better. I'm just gonna say this, I will never go back to a pill form vitamin. I am forever on liquid vitamins now, like so much better. Got my kids on the Mary Ruth's kids vitamins too, switch them over. And they seem to be doing great, but me and Sean both, now these right here, it's mom, dad, kids, everybody can take it and see it. One to three years up takes a half of a teaspoon a day. Me and Sean take two tablespoons a day. But it gives you the, um, right here, the ages and the measurements you're supposed to take. But I don't give them this. I They are taking these right here. That's what the kids take, the toddlers. I've been saying for years, my hair has, since I had Chloe, my hair is just, man, it's coming out. The shading has almost completely stopped. This is our second bottle. We'll have to open it in the next couple of days. But uh, so a month I've been taking it and y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I was gonna show you. Right there is how much we've got left in this bottle. Good stuff, you guys. Not promoting it, bought it with my own money. Ain't trying to make no money off of it. You need a good liquid vitamin, I'm telling you. Y'all, I totally forgot that we were having a power outage. It was a scheduled power outage today. They're working on it down the road. I forgot. So, was right in the middle of doing everything and the power went out. My bad though, they they let everybody know. We just kinda hanging out, playing Play-Doh and slime with Granny. We always got this propane for backup heat. So it's nice and warm in here. We got little light, little lantern up there going, waiting on the power to come back on. And when it comes back on, we're gonna make steaks this evening. I'm gonna cook them a little bit different though. I'm making them this evening. And don't nobody come at me because I don't do it like Sean. I'm gonna do it like Sean's mom does it. You'll see. But we're gonna have loaded baked potatoes and let everybody decide if we wanna do corn on the cob or salads. I'm gonna say everybody's probably gonna go for the salad. All right, you guys, power is back on and it is time to get dinner started. Just gonna wash up these three big old loaded baked potatoes and two of these and pop them in the microwave That's how we doing that this evening Okay, you guys this right here now salt pepper and butter as well That is what I'm gonna use to make my steak soy sauce and some garlic powder. That is it salt pepper and butter We're gonna pan fry these right in a cast iron skillet. We all decided on salads. I've got croutons Mama. bacon bits Hey, I want a bunny. I want a bunny cheese Oh, we should have known that already. We should have known her already wanted some cheese. I've already put the soy sauce on it and the garlic powder and the salt on it. 
I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna throw it in the pan with some butter. Y'all, it is so loud in here, you probably can't even hear us, but here, Sean smoked his steak. And it tastes delicious. And, well, you see, mine. But I, we ain't taste tested mine yet. But let me tell you, listen, we will never, we are smoking a turkey every year for Christmas from now on. Thanksgiving. That steak, good too. that steak is really good, but mine sauteed in garlic and uh, soy sauce, and Sean smoked on the smoker. I'm just not a big fan of soy sauce. It's good, though. Yeah. Mmm. Last 20 minutes of this, I wrapped it up in full with some butter. Mmm. You have my juice, mommy. All right. She, it's got to be Henry cup of cake cup. I tell you what, this is the biggest mess I've ever made making a steak. That's what you I said to me. I pulled a Sean, you all. Is everybody hungry? Yeah, hungry? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> I am getting ready to cut the majority of this up myself. I was going to do it today, but went up there and looked at the chainsaw. Let somebody use it and it's all boogered up. Hey, there's no way, no way to even bring it back. Pretty sure they either tried to saw through some fence or a metal post because there's nothing left of this chain. But we did a good lick on there. You can see this stick right over here. Let me get in on close up. This stick is embedded in the roof. One good thing though, this is really dry and it burns really exceptional well. I picked up the pieces that was uh, laying in the yard. They burn out in about 15, 20 minutes. Y'all, when this was fell, I was up in my studio up there and I was live. I don't know if y'all know, I started live streaming some gaming on Facebook, Twitch. Gonna be some other stuff, maybe YouTube here soon. Something I like to do and I've been doing it every night. I'll put it right here, the Appalachian one. Uh, and apparently, I don't know if Megan t told you, but apparently, like, because some kind of sweeping FCC guideline thing, we're going to have to change the name of our page. We already did it on TikTok. I've called it uh, the Hammonds Homestead. We may go with that here. I don't know. I was just kind of testing the name, but stuff for the garden bed supposed to be in, I think, next week. I'm not buying soil. I'm actually going to take my electric tiller and my EcoFlow battery and I'm gonna go up into the woods and I'm gonna actually pull up some ground out of the earth and uh, sift it out. I got my dirt sifter to get all the roots and rocks and everything out of it, but we are gonna homestead. We're gonna start slow here. I don't think this is my forever home. I think we're going to, uh, we're looking. Let's just put it this way. After Sean got me in the bathroom with this, we all remember it. I remember it well. Uh, <laughs> it off and mm -hmm. He hid it on me. What's it been? Three, four months now? Mr. Uh, Slick himself pulled it back out last night, brought it out of hiding to get Jerry because he was here working on my car. Forgot about it being out, so I hid it up there until right now. You about to see why. He's in his office live streaming. Mama's about to pay you a visit. Listen to me, you're streaming all happy.
some pants. Why? These smell like shit. <laughs> Do you stink? Yes. <laughs> I puked. Oh, did you really? I puked. Guess what? I threw up a shower. 